host Janine and you're watching Living Life with the Twist. So this is our YouTube channel, the thing that mom and I love to do and we have some fun. And today is going to be no exception. So I actually love these cheap lipsticks that are matte that you can get from Sally's. And they're like this, but unfortunately the tops come off very easy and they'll come off in my pocket they'll get in there and just make a mess but i love the colors and i have about four or five of them and i had gotten some chapstick tubes that you get to i was going to make from scratch my own chapsticks so i said you know what i'm going to save my cheap yes because they are <laughs> sally's lipsticks um and Kind of put them together so i ended up coming up with a couple of broken ones of these in different shade families and i tried it out and so now i'm doing the video to show you how i brought them together so stay tuned and i'm going to show you that so but i want to say this that uh, if you like this video or any of our other videos hit thumbs up subscribe the notification bell and stay tuned because we're going to be right in the kitchen i'm going to show you how i do that So after a few tries, this is what I came up with to uh, combine and make my own twisted, twisty, whatever you want to say, chapstick. Okay, here we go. So I took this Pyrex shot glass. Um, well, we don't do shots, but we do use it for um, other things. Um, actually, I used it in my meatloaf uh, recipe. Anyway, so I have my Bunsen burner thingy. You know, it's not a Bunsen burner, but it's, you know. There we go. I got it up. I got it going. So, I'm putting that um, coconut cooking spray in there, hoping that it'll help ease it together. Maybe, I don't know. That's just a, we're, we'll find out together. So, I'll put that in there before everything gets really hot. Now, okay. Speaking of really hot, I have my UGG glove, and I'm going to be putting up supplies. So you're going to know down here, we're going to put it, mom, bang, supplies. There it is. Okay. So in the meantime, this is what I'm going to be putting in that little shot glass. I'm going to be putting this, maybe. Well, that was, wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just trying to get out all that color. Oh, it is getting hot. That I really like. Because I'm going to mix these two together. Okay, here's the other one. Because I do, I really love these formulas, and they just don't work. Because uh, the top won't stay on. And sticking my hand in my pocket, and pulling it out and having a lipstick hand, well, that doesn't work. Now it's getting hotter, so what I'm going to do is put my up gloves on. Here we go. Like I said, we're doing this together. I do know that it takes a while for it to come together, about five minutes to come to a liquidy form from the other couple tubes that I had. Because when I bought them, I just went like, oh my goodness, they're only $1.60. Let me buy five or six of them. So that's what I did. More seven or eight. Mm, mm, mm. We'll talk about me and my lipsticks. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to put this to the side. I have lots of cleaning to do. And um, just to kind of help it come together, I'm going to put in a little bit of these beeswax pellets. And this is a fourth of a teaspoon. 
of these of the beeswax. Here we go. I'm going to use my other chopstick. Yes, that will be in my list. Okay, and then because you know, you can go to Hobby Lobby, you can get Beeswax Palace at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. You can find that there. Okay, so I also grabbed peppermint oil because I want a little bit of, you know, flavor. And also it'll give me a little bit of a, um, a poof, poof, uh, plumping. That's what they call it, plumping. So I'm just going to give it a, a few shots. One, two, three, four. It's going to be very peppermint. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, let it come together for those five minutes, and I will see you in just a second. Okay. It's liquefied, and I have stirred it up so everything is, and it's very pepperminty. It's nice. It looks good. I have my up gloves. Of gloves. Also, Mama's going to be putting down where we get our stuff. Um, I actually have chapstick right here. You can get yours. Oh, I'm going to turn this off. Okay. You can get yours online. We're going to put a resource down there. Uh, but other than that, you can grab a chapstick and take a label off and do all that business. So, okay. So I don't have anything to put it in because um, I lost it, to be honest, to pour it. So came up with this idea of putting it in some rice in the meantime. And of course it's all the way down. But put it in some rice right here. Keep it stabilized, like so. All right. This is very liquidy, and I'm just going to go on and pour it. Oh, yes, it's pouring. Oh, perfect. And you know what? I'm going to grab this. See if I can't get out all the little, little bits as much as possible. I mean, I know I knew I was going to lose some of the product, but that's fine. That's why I put some of the beeswax in there and put the two together so I would have a nice chapstick color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cool, and I'm going to see you in the room and show you what I got. Now we're back. So I made that. I put those two shades together with the beeswax in this container right here. I've let it cooled, and we're gonna show, or I'm gonna show you the color and how it came out. Yes. So it spreads like a chapstick, but it has the color of the lipstick. And it still has that matte, but it has some hydration to it, so my lips aren't going to feel dry. And I like that color. I think, um, yeah. I think that's pretty. So, um, I know we all get cheap stuff. Just depends on do you want to fix it, you want to throw it away. Well, I kind of like to fix things. So I really hope that um, y'all get some kind of inspiration. That's all I'm talking about. You know, get yourself some of these chapsticks. Make your own from scratch or save some of your own lipsticks. Uh, if you have any comments, put them below. Tell me if you've done it. And see, you know, I want to know if that worked for you because this definitely worked for me. And I'm going to be doing this in the future with other lipsticks that break and the tops that come off. So uh, keep tuned uh, for all different kinds of beauty stuff that I'm going to be doing here because I know you're going to want to see it and hopefully incorporate it into your beauty life. Okay, bye y'all. Keep living a twisty life.